Apple's Notes app is the standard note-taking tool which is built into iPhones, iPads and also Mac. But it's not easy to figure out how to undo what you have typed. There is no undo button in the toolbar. Luckily, there are a couple of options which we can try. This video is split in parts because it works differently on iPhone or iPad and on the Mac. Let's start with the Mac, there is not much to talk about, but we can keep the interesting techniques on touchscreen devices for later in this video. As I said, on the Mac there is no undo button on top, there is no swiping topic gesture as well. The only way how to undo something is to go to edit menu and select undo. Or alternatively, you can use the command Z shortcut to undo the last action. I prefer the shortcut, it's much faster. And if you want to redo again, you just add shift to it. So to redo something you have undone, press shift command Z. Now let's see the touch screens on iPhone or iPad. The easiest way how to undo in notes on both of these devices is to tap the icon that looks like a pen. After that, undo and redo icons, which are these curved arrows, will appear at the top of your iPhone screen and on the iPad they will be part of these markup tools. Another commonly known gesture is to shake your phone. This will bring up a dialog box that asks you if you want to undo what you have typed. And if you shake it once more, it will bring the same dialog, but this time it will include option to redo as well. I feel a bit funny doing that, especially shaking the big iPad. If you are triggering this unintentionally, you can actually turn this capability off. You can do it by going to settings, accessibility and touch. Here switch the button shake to undo. Now let's get to the techniques I like the most. You can actually undo or redo without any shaking. It can be done with a simple three finger swipe from right to left. Just swipe from right with three fingers and it will automatically be undone. You don't need to tap anything else. And if you keep swiping with three fingers, you can undo even more. And of course, it works the other way too. If you want the original back, use your three finger swipe and this time swipe from left to right and it will redo it. This gesture will of course work anywhere on the screen but try to stay on top of the note. If you are too low, you are risking to hit the keys instead of swiping and you can type something on the keyboard instead. And at the end, one more even easier option, which is to tap with three fingers. No swiping, just a tap. Once you do that, this small floating bar will appear. Unlike the previous method, it doesn't undo it automatically. You need to use the buttons. But it feels quite comfortable to be using this technique. Now the choice is always on you, you can choose which suits you the best. And you can also choose to press the like button if you find this video useful. And also, I'll be happy to see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.